The École Normale Supérieure is one of the most prestigious French academic and research institutions and a founding member of the University of Paris Sciences et Lettres. It is located in the Rue d'Ulm, in the heart of the colorful Quartier Latin. The ENS has a long history. Let's go back in time. The ENS dates back to the French Revolution. It was created by Napoleon and has existed in its modern form since 1826. Its original mission was to rebuild the entire French educational system and emerge as a grand école with a role to prepare, through a high-level cultural and scientific training, students for fundamental or applied research, for teaching and, more generally, for the service of the state. The ENS has welcomed and trained many talented personalities, both in humanities and science, including several Nobel Prize winners and Fields medalists. Did you know, for example, that Joseph Fourier, who invented the Fourier transformation, was one of its first students? Louis Pasteur came to the ENS in 1843 and for about 30 years carried out most of his research there, including the very first anti-rabies inoculation on the young Joseph Meister. We can also mention the two influential writers and philosophers, Jean-Paul Sartre and Simone Veil. The founders of the Bourbaki School, who profoundly renewed mathematics. The historian, writer and filmmaker Asia Jebar. Georges Pompidou, who became president of France in 1969. In this fertile and stimulating multidisciplinary environment, neuroscience research progressively developed over the last 40 years through the growing interest of the departments of physics and biology in the 1980s and the creation of the Department of Cognitive Studies in 2001. Today at the ENS, research in neuroscience is performed by 200 researchers from all over the world and at various career stages who combine their knowledge of biology, physics, medicine, but also psychology and philosophy to understand how the brain and mind work. Research at the ENS is mostly curiosity-driven. Emphasis on creativity and fundamental science, combined with the dialogue between disciplines, make the ENS a very special place. Let's, Let's take, take a, a closer, closer look. look. Claire is currently investigating how five-month-olds, infants, learn simple audiovisual associations. She uses electroencephalography to bypass their limited behavioral repertoire and directly monitor the brain. Simone and Trangan study how biological neurons interact to convey information. They develop theoretical and computational neural network models based on statistical physics and information theory. Akinde and Nicola explore the role of immune cells in early brain wiring and their potential contribution to the etiology of developmental disorders. They label and modify these immune cells during mouse fetal life to explore the roles of microglia in brain construction. Adrian tries to understand how neurons work together to create meaningful behaviors like memory or decision making. In real and artificial brains, he develops artificial intelligence methods that can process data from thousands of neurons. Chiara works on the communication of dolphins. In social context, dolphins produce a complex set of acoustic signals that are still poorly understood. She uses data mining and artificial intelligence on data from Eilat, Israel. She wants to understand the sound's behavioral significance in dolphins' social interactions. We love what we do. We would love to share it with you. Come and visit us.